In the next couple of sections, we're going to focus on creating user functionality. And what I mean by that is having users be able to actually create an account within our app, uh, being able to log in, as well as being able to create posts that are associated with their specific account. And so the first thing that I want to tackle is uh, handling user registration. So we need to be able to provide a way for users to create a brand new account. And the first thing that we have to do is we have to uh, define our model, or more specifically, we have to create a table within our Postgres database that's going to hold all of our user information. And so since we're using SQL Alchemy, we're going to create a new uh, ORM model, just like we did for Post, so that we can define what our Postgres table ultimately looks like. Let's create a new class, and I'm going to call this class user. And this is going to extend base. That's just a requirement for any SQL Alchemy model. And then here we're going to provide the table name uh, within Postgres. So I'm going to say the table within Postgres should be called users. Then let's go ahead and figure out what are the different columns that we need. Uh, and so we're going to handle registration um, by having the user provide an a email address. So we should have a column for us to be able to store their email. So we'll say email equals column. This is going to be of a type string. And we're going to say that this is uh, nullable is set to false. So they have to provide an email. And then on top of that, we shouldn't allow someone uh, with, an, uh, with a specific email to register twice with that email, right? There should only be one account with one specific email. So we're going to say that the unique constraint is set to true. So that's going to prevent one email from registering twice. The next thing that we need is for us to be able to store the user's password. So we'll create a column for password. This is once again going to be a string. Uh, and then once again, the nullable is going to be set to false because we shouldn't be able to let them create an account without a password. And we don't need a unique constraint because I don't care if two users have the same password. It's up to them. And then finally, just like we had with the posts uh, class, we're going to have a column for uh, ID. So every user is going to have a unique ID. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. And so at this point, I think that's all we need for our user class. If you save it, um, it's going to reload the application. And it looks like I got an error. And I realized this should not be uh, str. This should actually be string. That's my mistake. And then actually, before we do anything else, I want to create it at column as well. So we could just copy this and then paste that in there. Like I said, pretty much any time you create something in your database, you want to make sure that um, you record when it was created. So you never know when you'll need that information. And so we've restarted our application. Let's go to Postgres. And uh, under my tables, I'm just going to do a refresh. And it looks like it went ahead and created our users table. And if we do our users properties, we should see that it created all four columns. And all of the necessary constraints should be set there as well. And so let's uh, you know, just play around with this in Postgres just to make sure it works, um, because I don't really trust SQL Alchemy ever. So let's do right click, uh, and then we'll do view edit data. So right now, there shouldn't be any users. And let's create a new user. So I'll say this is uh, john at gmail.com. Password, I'd, you know, just put whatever you want for now. And then if we save that, right, it then successfully created it. A user, we got the the generated ID as well as the created at timestamp. And then let's create a new user. So I'm going to use the same exact email. So this should throw an error because we shouldn't be able to register again. You know, some random password. And then if I try to save this, we should get a unique constraint on user's email error. So perfect. So that worked. And I'm just going to change this to be Cindy at gmail.com. We'll save that. And it should create those users. So perfect. So we've got the first step done when it comes to um, defining our table. The next thing that I want to do is we will create a uh, new path operation so that a user can actually send his username and password to our API, and then we can actually generate that user.